Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Matic. Well, after the um, small rally that we had here in the last couple of days, I did tidy up the chart a little bit. It didn't really change anything, but we had um, a break above micro resistance. So therefore I had to change the micro count a little bit down here, but it doesn't currently change the expectation at all. The price still didn't break above the trend line that I explained and showed you, explained to you and showed you in recent videos. We might even adjust it a little bit, but there's a trend line here um, that is uh, relevant in my opinion. It's, it's an early signal, a very early th signal that things are changing if such a trend line, if such a trend line is breaking. Um, however, it, it hasn't broken, obviously. And for me, you know, it would really take a break above that B wave high as a first real indication that um, the trend is changing from a downtrend into an uptrend. I mean, it made a new low here. That's all good. Yeah, it made a lower low on the 11th of September below the June low. That is what we actually wanted. Yeah, we've been talking about that during this entire downtrend. And now it's sort of just consolidating above above Fibonacci support. Okay, below trend line, below the trend line, above support. And um, so far, even though the downtrend momentum seems to be slowing down, the last rally again was just in three waves. So, okay, it could still form a five wave move. But in my interpretation, this would only be possible in some kind of a murky diagonal, something sloppy, which isn't necessarily bearish, but it's just an unreliable pattern. So unfortunately, it just moves in corrective um, structures at the moment. And there is therefore at the moment no indication that a low has been made. Yes, it broke above micro resistance, but there are still enough possibilities to count this um, with a further continuation to the downside. Now, I'm, I'm happy if it turns around, right? But ideally, there is one more low here in this wave five to finish this off. I mean, I would have to count it finished here, which I can, you know, which is possible. But I need to see some kind of a five wave move above the B wave high to confirm a break above the trend line would be would be a very, very early signal that things might be changing. Yeah, bear in mind, it is already in this support area. We've been talking about this support area for a while. Um, I just switched this from linear scale to log. So the support areas, um, they, they just, you know, they, the FIB levels have changed by one or two cents or something. So nothing major. But the support area is still the same. Basically, we are here in an area where we expect the price to turn around. So we're very close to the low. I think it could go down to 41 cents if it has to. That's a level that I communicated before anyway. A level we got on the linear chart as well. But what on the linear chart, you know, which is the, I think there it is the 88.7 Fibonacci retracement. Here it's the 78.6 Fib level. So they're overlapping. It's basically the same thing, just a different um, Fib level. And on the log scale, we don't want a break below the 78.6 Fib level or things are getting uh, <laughs> difficult. <laughs> it's quite difficult. Um, bearish, potentially, yeah. But at the moment, we are far away from that, yeah. But I still expect it to go lower. Nevertheless, you know, nevertheless, we are fairly close to a low. You know, if, you know, we are basically really, really close. I think a reasonable strategy might be here, maybe even a grid bot with, uh, I don't know, a stop below, below 40 cents or so. And then it could just, you know, between maybe, I mean, maybe between 40 and and uh, yeah, 64 basically, and then gridding it. But you know, that's not really an um, that's not really an advice or anything. So it, it's more like what I think could be a reasonable strategy. But um, yeah, I think we we just need to be a bit patient here. It's still making lower lows, lower highs. Only a rally in three waves looks very similar to what it did here. Okay, so just a corrective rally, which then made another low. Uh, we'll see. I mean, it sort of certainly formed some kind of a of a top here. I mean, it can always move up in five waves like this, okay? But it would have to be some kind of a diagonal, which is not a very likely pattern. If we see these five waves, I mean, again, then can then we can work with these five waves, okay? Then we can track a bigger upside potential. But again, it would still need to break above that sixty four um, cent level. Now, if we talk about a potential micro count here, I'm very careful with this, okay? Very, very careful with this because these will change quite a bit in these corrective patterns, but this could be a one, two, and then it could be a three, four, five, you know? That's how it could unfold. I'm gonna take it off again, but 
if we talk here about maybe an ending diagonal in the wave C um, after this AB pattern, okay, a wave C to the downside, that's certainly possible. And yeah, I will observe that for you. If anything changes, I will let you know. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.